London, 20th and 21st of October. Almost 800 tickets sold. No advertising or marketing budget. No posters, no flyers, no PR, no promoter, no agent, no TV, no radio. 800 tickets sold. I can name 10 BBC comedians with powerful management behind them who can't shift half that number of tickets. And you know why? Because they're frauds. They're diversity box tickers or entitled white women peddling misandry. They have everything laid out for them on a plate but they can't shift tickets because they've got no fucking jokes I've been cancelled twice I've had sold out tours cancelled costing me tens of thousands of pounds because of funny jokes I made on social media cancelled for doing my job well I've been smeared and discredited but here's the thing quality is irrepressible if someone's great at something and there's a demand to see it sooner or later you can't stop it happening there's not a damn thing you can do about it whiny unhinged extremists harassing venues trying to get my shows pulled your time is up it's all over for you now it's my time i've got a lot of very funny things to say on stage in london on the 20th and 21st of october and that's just the start i'm back i'm irrepressible and those people who tried to censor me you're beaten but you know what Come along, I invite you. There's still a very few tickets left for Friday the 20th. So come along, because when I tell a joke that hurts your feelings, I want to be able to look out into the crowd and see you crying, you fucking pussies.